so today I'm here to talk about October monthly favorites. Happy Halloween to all of you who are going to be out trick-or-treating. Uh, please drive safely if you're coming from an adult party serving alcohol. Um, especially when it comes to the time or the end of the month, I do know for a fact that um, cops typically need to meet their quota by the end of the month, so it becomes an even bigger risk factor than the obvious drinking and driving risk factors. So definitely be sure to call up your friends who don't drink. For my Halloween, by the time you'll be viewing this, I have already been to yoga, um, so um, I'm going to probably be taking um, the 915 class because I know that particular lady's very, very into holidays. Um, so I know that she's going to sort of be like really spiritual and into it and all that great stuff. I won't be celebrating Halloween in the traditional sense that I'll be like dressing up or passing any candies out or anything like that. I used to spend $80 on a costume or even put the time into making my own costume and pass out candy for kids. But I've noticed that there is a major decline with kids coming to people's houses to get candy. I'm sure it has a lot to do with the anthrax scare years ago, as well as just people can't be trusted anymore to, to, um, to not sort of booby trap uh, kids' candies, which is sad. So my recommendations for face products, I want to start with face products because I love face products. I think some of my favorite products ever when it comes to makeup because they can really make or break your look and they're so fun in my opinion to apply. So it's typically why I include the face products that I'm applying when I do a tutorial um, because I also know that a lot of people watch only eye tutorials for fun and then they watch the face product application because that's the part that they're really going to do are, is the Tarte Airbrush Maracuja Blush and Shimmering Peach. This is such a light souffle type texture that if you were to apply this on most skin surfaces or types, it's not something that would budge too easily because it dries to like a nice soft powder. The other product I really like and most vegan products are pretty safe for people with extreme skin sensitivities down to people who have very um, kind of oily or acne prone skin types. And so the all natural face definitely has a lot of natural ingredients. Uh, jojoba oil, organic argan oil, mica, of course, because of pigmentation and powder and stuff like that. But um, yeah, peachy rose is such a gorgeous color because you rarely see something so cool and so warm together and it creates just a very perfect neutral peach that would look gorgeous, I think, on redheads and anyone really for fall. Another blush product to recommend, believe it or not, and it is Flamingo by Sleek. I definitely love this sort of hot pink color because it kind of leans almost to the red or a fluorescent sort of coral side. It is. It goes on quite pink, but um, it doesn't look like neon or baby powder pink or anything like that. And of course you can control the amount of pigment you wish to apply. Uh, stipple brushes are perfect for that. It does have some slight shimmer in the pan and that doesn't translate to the skin whatsoever. And Sleek does have a website where everybody can buy from. Most Sleek products are vegan, so I definitely have to recommend this. You have perfect sets of brushes. Um, they don't have to be expensive, they just have to work for you. And one of the brushes I really happen to like is the e.l.f. Stipple Brush. I have two of these. This is the one I've used today. This is the one I haven't used, but uh, I could even use another one, actually. Um, but that would prevent me from trying to keep on top of my washing. And it's the Sephora Professional Airbrush Brush 57 Teclon Hairs. Gives you that beautiful, flawless HD finish. Highly recommend. And one of the fluffy, fluffy, fluffy I have to recommend is the Sedona Lace. Uh, 863. I love how tapered this is. This actually is reminiscent of the MAC 222 to me, um, with the exception of the fact that it is only slightly more flared out, but that could be because I've washed it a couple times. And if you've owned the MAC 222, you'll notice that your brush has become more splayed by washing it as well. Um, this fits in the crease perfectly. I've heard so many people say, oh my god, that girl so needed a 224 in her crease. And I'm like, not everybody needs a 224 in their crease. 224s are quite a brush, actually, if you don't have the lid space. So I like the 863. 
This is even close to the 222 and it's still more splayed and fluffy. Um, it's not quite as big as a 224. If you have an old 224, you know what I'm talking about. I first bought this, I thought it was quite a hard pencil. And I have to say, it's actually, once, it, once any of the Inglot Soft Precision liners start to warm up a bit, they become so ideal. So I have to go ahead and recommend this one to you. It is the Inglot Soft Precision 131. It gives you that perfect white waterline with a couple strokes. I also like the Zuzu Lux pencils because once again these are very creamy once they're warmed up and they're firm enough to actually stay on the waterline. I don't think most Urban Decay pencils are good for the waterline because a lot of them do have glitter flecks in them and um, a lot of them are too creamy so you see like all the cream right in the middle of your eye where you don't want it to be. And the eye products, I have yet to get into glitter this fall. Maybe this winter I will. But of course I am t typically digging my Inglot eyeshadows. I'm doing slightly more theatrical looks with neutrals and color. For some odd reason, I'm just feeling very inspired. I get very crazy and inspired every winter when um, I feel like the season is right to wear a heavier face of makeup. All summer long it's really hard for me to get into theatrical heavy looks because I'm melting all over the world. This eye primer, it blends matte so beautifully. I may not find a new or different type of eye primer to try this um, fall or winter so I might just go ahead and repurchase. I've already hit pan in this and I'll get the neutral again because I think the next shade is too dark. Even the Jane Aridale, uh, Aridale, um eye primer has a bit of silicone in it and I'm allergic to silicone. If anybody's wondering why I'm not huge into the full priming of the face or Too Faced Shadow Insurance or anything like that, it's because it has silicone, so I cannot wear that. I can't even wear the new Tarte Eye Primer that came out, which I wanted to try, but I read the ingredient list. So that's going to be a no. Um, even Becca's has silicone of all products. So um, I don't want to spend too much money by getting the Cover Effects Eye Primer. Um, it is like $34. I might bite, bite the bull <laughs> if it works really good. I'll, I'll check it out in the store. But I might just get another Gabrielle eye primer. Moving into some lid products. Um, I have been trying some drugstore ones. I am getting really into these Jordana lip products. I have to say, oh my god, where have these been all my life? I am wearing Candied Coral. I know the Revlon. Um, I know the Revlon ones are getting so much amazing press, and for this being the cruelty-free alternative, I have to say gorgeous. I have nothing else on my lips besides candied coral. Honey love, this is the perfect MLBB color. Du jour. Goodness sakes, I can't believe that thing exists. Uh, sweet pink is a gorgeous girly Barbie pink. It's so pigmented for being a Barbie pink, it's unrealistic. Really like that. The moment you're ready to quit is usually the moment before the miracle happens. Go 24 hours without complaining, not even once. Then watch how your life starts changing. Couldn't agree with more. Good morning, words of wisdom for the day. Stop dwelling on who you used to be. Know who you are, and now focus on who you will become. <music>